So in the FPL community on Twitter, a lot of content creators are saying that their video views are down at the moment. So if you've made it this far, well done and thank you. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I'll be looking at game week 15, how it went, who scored the most points in the Midnight Mule League, who's currently top. I'll be looking at the content creators league, how I'm doing in that. And then how I did for game week 15, what my plans are for game week 16. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's have a look at it. So down in 50th place is Pearls, Pearls, Pearls. And the user is Holanginka, Holanginka. I'm sorry if I got your name slightly wrong. I'm sure I did get it wrong. But they scored a massive 90 points this week, which is very, very good. If we look at their team, they got 12 from Trippier, 5 from White, 12 from Zaha, 11 from Tielemans, not many people own him, 8 from Almiron, 11 from Madison, 7 from Darwin, 16 from Captain Kane. That's an amazing score. Very, very good. Um, and on the bench, they apart from Greenwood, and I don't know which of their players you'd have taken off instead of Greenwood. There'd be none you'd choose. Apart from Greenwood, they all got zero points. So an amazing week. Only made one transfer this week, and that is Sun out, who scored nothing for Almron, who got eight. So I don't know why they're down in 50th, but a brilliant week there. And they've got 7.3 million in the bank. So only 99.5 overall, but they might do a cheeky, very clever transfer this week. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll be the top scorer again. Currently top of the league is, <laughs> why can't people have a team name called something like My Team? Anyway, or well, Midnight Mule, there's a sensible name for a team. So this is Skog's Glanton IF by Jacob Erickson, currently on 939 points. Their team this week, uh, Trippier 12, Salah 15, Haaland 10, being the captain, Almiron 8, Kane 8. So pretty solid team, pretty good there. No transfers were made, but on the bench... Ward with six, Andreas for six, and Greenwood with nine. So obviously the score could have been better. But again, which player would you have taken out to play one of those? The answer is he probably got the bench right. It just didn't work out. As for myself, I'm currently down in 35th at the moment. There I am. I've got 828 points. So game week 15, that was a lot of fun. I had, captain as, I had Haaland as captain, but obviously Salah would have been the better choice. So Salah got 15, Trippier 12, Haaland 10 because he was captain, Almiron 8, Trossard 5, Darwin 7, and that's pretty much it. Obviously the Cancelo sending off cost me a lot because then there was a penalty. So had things gone as normal, Cancelo and Edison probably would have got a clean sheet. But then it may be De Bruyne and Foden would have got lots of points. I haven't got either of those, so maybe I'm all right of how it worked out in the end after all. So on the bench, Ward for six and the rest was okay. I actually had Martinelli on the bench. I was nervous about that because he was so highly owned. But there are none of my other outfield players that I would rather play instead of Martinelli. Obviously, in retrospect, Wilson went off injured and he wasn't worth it. But at the time, it seemed all right. This is very funny. <laughs> I made three transfers at the end, which cost me minus eight. And it actually cost me minus 13 in total because the players I took out did a lot better than the players I brought in. And that was Zaha. But I'd looked and Zaha has been quite poor away from home this season. And he's not done much generally this season. He's not been great. Not been very good recently. So it seemed like a sensible move. And I really wanted Trossard. So that didn't work out so well for me. And to make things worse, had I not made the transfers, Mitrovic would have been on my bench and Martinelli would have played. So it's really a minus 16. So transfers are fun, but they don't always work out. <laughs> so overall, I got 61 points, less eight for the transfer. So it's actually 53. The game week has just inside the 3 million. Overall, I'm just outside the 1.6 million. So four red hours in the last five weeks. And if you look at this, I'm 19 points behind 1 million. I'm only 12 points from being at the 2 million mark. If we look further down... I'm 62 points in front of 4 million and 62 points ahead of 200,000. So I'm halfway between 200,000 and 4 million. And if you say it like that, maybe it doesn't sound quite so bad. I don't know. So if you're enjoying my <laughs> misery, please do subscribe. We currently got 239, which I'm very grateful for and is very, very good. 
And if you've made it this far still, thank you. So the Content Creators League on FPL Game Week. I'm not in this, but if you look at the website, then you'll see where you would have put in the league. Currently, FPL Raptor, who's Ross, he's top of the table. Someone else will watch is Harry. He's third. Giving them a shout out because I watch them and they're at the top. I'm aware of certainly Ben Krellen, but I don't think I particularly watch him. So that's why I'm not showing him here. I'm all the way down on 53rd, which is actually on the second page. So that's really bad. The only slight comfort is I'm still slightly ahead of FPL, mate. But then he admits he's having an awful season as well. But we're only on week 15, we're about to have week 16. I'm always doing bad the first half of the season. This is probably my best season so far at this point. So I'm perfectly relaxed with all this. Things are fine, really, I think. So transfers, what I like to do with transfers is take a four week view and then see over the four weeks, was it worth it? So back in game week 12, I took out Madison and Vardy for Salah and Solanke. And Madison and Vardy, game week 12, got two between them, whereas Salah and Solanke got five. And then four weeks in total, what happened was Madison and Vardy got 36, Salah and Solanke got 36. So in actual fact, it wasn't worth doing. It cost me the four points. So in retrospect, I could have just left that as it was. Game week 14, I took out Bowen and Solanke and brought in Rashford and Darwin. And 14 and 15, the two weeks we've had so far with them. The players I took out got 12 points. The players I've brought in got 19 points. Cost me four. So I'm currently up three points on this transaction. So not great, but at least I don't need to beat myself up over this. So if Darwin and Rashford outscore Bone and Slanky this week, and I think there's a reasonable chance they will, then that would imply this was a transfer that was worth doing. Game week 15. So this is last week. This is the taking out Zaha, Billing and Mitrovic for Trossard, Aaron and Wilson. And yep, that was really nasty. That cost me 13 points. They could turn it around in game week 16. Let's hope Zaha blanks, because I didn't have Zaha. I know some of you do, sorry. Zaha blanks and Trossard and Almond do really well. I'm not expecting anything from Wilson, to be honest. But let's see. it. Maybe I get something back from this. So my team for game week 16 as it stands, I have three Man City players. That's Edison, Cancelo and Haaland. As you can see, I've got Haaland as my captain. Any of those could get a very high score this week. Maybe they all will. From Liverpool, I have Salah and Darwin at home to Southampton. From Brighton, I have Dunk and Trossard at home to Aston Villa. And from Newcastle, I have Trippier and Almiron at home to Chelsea. So all those players are at home. I massively favour home teams over away teams. If you look at the stats, there's actually quite a big difference normally, or at least a significant difference. I wouldn't be surprised if any of those get a good score. They may well all get a good score. Slightly dodgiest one may be Dunk because now Villa have got their new manager. Maybe Villa are going to do really well. But Trossard can score against anyone, so I'm not nervous about him. My two away that I'm starting with, or proposing to, are Rashford away to Fulham. Fulham are quite leaky at their back. And probably Martinelli against Wolves. So if I put anyone on the bench out of this lot, it would be Martinelli, because I currently have Wilson on my bench, and he's at home to Chelsea. If Team News suggests Wilson's going to start and he's fully fit, I may swap Martinelli for Wilson, even though Martinelli's a brilliant player, Wolves are very leaky, and he's highly owned. It's, I just need to make a decision on the day which one I'm going to do of those. My other two defenders, Smith and Bueno, both at home. If one of those come in, I'm fine with that. So I'm feeling a bit optimistic about my team this week, but to be fair, I normally feel good about it before the game week starts, and then once it starts, it tends to go downhill from there. And that's it. Game week 15, how it went. Game week 16, and my high expectations, it's going to be a good week, as always. <laughs> and it really is. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.